This right here is a gravity powered, escapement driven ball contraption, which kind of happened by accident. Let me explain. So I've been working on this massive Rube Goldberg project. And if you've seen any of my recent shorts, you would have seen some of the modules that I've been working on. The next module is gonna be a series of straight line mechanisms that will move the ball along the tracks somehow. Haven't figured that part out yet. And I had this Chevy Chev Lambda mechanism already worked out and I decided it was time to bring it into the real world. So I built a couple test track sections around it and I was twirling it around on my screen and I thought, you know what? Side quest time. They're like, take a day, whatever. It's not a big deal. This Rube Goldberg machine is never gonna happen. Whatever, here we are, Chevy Chev mechanism side quest. And so I built a looping track and I wanted the whole thing to be powered by gravity. So I added a spool to the mechanism. And then I thought maybe it'd be cool if this thing kind of worked like an escapement. So it would only do one revolution every time the ball comes around. And that's what turned into a three day CAD bender. This could be the first time where I've ever like designed a mechanism myself. I do that in air quotes because everything is derivative, but this was the first time I did it without the help of Dr. Thang. I was definitely proud of myself for that. That was, a, that's, I'm growing. But it did take three days of just CAD bender, just clicking furiously like, Big J, just figure it out. Ah! Luckily, I've recently found this tool called Motion Gen Pro. Check it out, this is not sponsored or they probably don't even know I exist, but I know they exist because this changed the game for me. It allowed me to draw out the mechanism really quickly and get a better idea on how things were gonna move. But basically I decided to work backwards, starting at this paddle and working my way to the trigger. When the ball comes down this shaft, it's gonna hit this post right here. That's gonna push on this link, which is gonna pull this link back, releasing the paddle, which is connected to the crank arm of the mechanism. As that does one full revolution, it's gonna push the ball all the way up, deposit the ball at the top of the track, and then drop back down and get stopped again by the escapement latch, which has returned to its position because of a spring or something. Haven't figured that part out yet. With the basics of it all working, I decided to full commit, print out all the parts, laser cut the back plate. The track is made up of segments that are all connected together with these little dowel pins. And then the whole thing screws into the back plate. And as soon as I had it screwed in, I had to test it out, obviously, come on, who wouldn't? Drop the ball on the track, and it decided that the second turn would be a jump instead of a berm. Don't worry, a couple little tweaks in the CAD, printed out a little section, hot glued it into place, and boom, suddenly the second turn is now a berm, and the ball is making it through the track. Holy moly, this thing might actually work. For the record, every time I design something, I'm always thinking it's not gonna work because it probably won't. It never does the first time. But this is the part of the process where you're like out of that emotional dip of this project sucks to holy crap, there's a chance. So I put the mechanism together and it was working really smoothly. So then I added the escapement to it. That was working way better than I expected as well. I assembled the governor, which is just a modified version of the scoop from the waves project and added that to the board. And then I added the rest of the parts onto the back plate and damn, that is one sweet ball contraption, you might say. Threw it up on the wall, tossed the ball in there. First things first, I wanted to see if the mechanism could lift the ball up onto the next track. Ah, oh, it's so close. This is one of those situations where the CAD world and the real world are kind of at odds with each other. At the top limit of the mechanism, there's a lot of play in the parts. This is something that just doesn't show up in CAD. You have to actually build it and see if it works. And in this case, we were close. I quickly added a riser and decided to move on. As I was stringing this whole thing up, it hit me that there was something really important that I missed. We'll get to that in a second. First and foremost, we need to figure out why the ball isn't triggering the mechanism. The trigger isn't pulling the latch far enough back. But there's a really simple fix for that. If I add this little curve to the bottom of the latch, it slides so much more smoothly on the paddle. And surprisingly, that's all it took to solve this problem. And that brings us to the more critical error that I'd mentioned earlier, and that is the placement of the governor, which I put on the left side here, connected to the string, as opposed to being connected to the mechanism itself. That causes two problems. The first is when the mechanism gets to the top point, it drops quickly down to the bottom point. Doesn't look that good, puts a lot of slack in the string, not ideal, but that actually also causes the ball to not make it onto the top track. When the paddle's moving slowly up, the ball makes it onto the track. When it drops quickly, it doesn't. I didn't think I'd be fixing this problem on this iteration. I figured we'd just go with it for now. But I realized it was actually a lot easier to fix than I was expecting. All I had to do was print out two small parts, 
Those connected to parts that I already had printed. The hardest part of this whole process was really just to drill new holes into the back plate and make sure that everything lined up, which it did. So all I had to do was add a little finishing touch to cover up the old holes. And that brings us here. Before I show you this thing in all its glory, I just wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear more about what you think. I know why you're here. Let's just see this thing in action. I don't know why, but I just love this thing so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.